All right, we're doing a little vintage cookware. This is a fairly nice little vintage piece. And it's Bazaar Francis or Bazar Francois. I don't really know. Let's get a little zoomy here on it. Um, you can see Bazar Francis, New York, 666 in quotations, made in France, stamped underneath. And as far as I understand, no, it's not the devil's cookware, but it was the address in New York where the company's headquarter was, their U.S. headquarters, or maybe their headquarters. Not sure. It was made in France, and I believe until the 70s or so, mid-70s. So, But it's your typical um, you know, copper core, tin-lined, brass handle, heavy-duty riveted, and... It's a nice pan. I actually don't use it very much ever since I've been using the debayer, but it's a nice piece nonetheless. And it's got a re you know really long handle. You can see the handles about as long as the whole dang pan. But that's nice. Uh, it doesn't get so hot on the outside and moderately comfortable handle unlike the debayer which I've complained about in other videos. You can check them out. Uh, tin lined, it was retinned by I think it's like Rocky Mountain retinning or something. Uh, they're on the internet, and yeah, I you know, I'm never I don't really know about the tin tinniness, uh, but it's a great pan, um, cooks chicken breast really well, and veg really cooks anything, but yeah, I don't know, it's weird. The tin just you know, you can see there's a lot of scrapes from its previous kitchen culinary adventures the tin just kind of fills in there but it's you know I find it harder to clean maybe I'm doing it wrong I, don't, I feel like I don't want to scrape off the tin I mean geez so I don't know if you have any comments on Francis Bazaar or even how to say it uh, make a comment but I don't find a whole lot of information about the company other than they went out of business in the 70s or something